Rovers had conceded just eight goals in 14 matches, while only once had they managed to register more than two. But things changed at Wrexham. Jimmy Harvey had spent a lone spell at the racecourse ground before Rovers signed him, so they should have known about the accuracy of his right foot. A free kick to Tranmere, just in their own half of the field. It's played forward quickly, a back heel by Muir, and there's Harvey. And was he pleased with that one? 2-1 for Wrexham now, but Rovers' tails were up. Eddie Bishop had been preferred to Dave Martindale in midfield since defeat at home to Cambridge in mid-September. Alongside Harvey's creativity, Bishop provided the muscle and manager John King saw it as a good balance. Eddie also scored goals. That, his second of the season. 2-2. The game evenly poised, but then another Wrexham old boy, Jim Steele, forces Joey Jones to concede a free kick in a dangerous position. Now, what's going to happen here? Johnny Morrissey fancies his chances, but the skipper takes charge. Whatever Steve Vickers was doing up there, he acts as a decoy anyway. Wrexham line up their wall, and Harvey weighs up the alternatives. But if Wrexham should know about Harvey, the Tranmere skipper also knows about some of his former teammates, including perhaps that goalkeeper Salmon isn't too clever when the ball is hit near his posts. Massive celebrations. Jim Harvey thinks he's on the lap of honour. 3-2 with just 15 minutes remaining. But in a match which had virtually everything, there's one last twist to the story. With time almost up, Wrexham throw the ball into the Tranmere penalty area. Harvey tries to clear and the ball ricochets off Cooper over Nixon and into the goal. Three goals away from home and only one point to show for it.